um, just kind of give us a quick introduction of you, Tom Wiley, and the roles you've held here at Northwest State. Well, I came to Northwest State in 2000 as the Dean of Engineering Tech, and I also had was given the role of Director of Technical Training to try to get us started into the technical corporate training. Um, then I created custom training solutions uh, later on and kind of ran both the engineering tech and uh, custom training solutions and custom training solutions became so large that uh, the college promoted me to associate vice president of workforce development and we brought Dan Burklow in as the Dean of, of Engineering Tech. Dan was one of my first hires uh, at the college as plastic faculty. Um, and then later on, I, I was uh, promoted to Vice President of Workforce Development. And then a little later on, Vice President of Innovation, which where we got into a lot of the e-learning and things like that. So, um, so yeah, that, that was my, my, um, my progression, and then I, I sort of retired, I'd say sort of, uh, back in 2012. And uh, then I became the associate vice president. The college brought me in just to work on special projects, re reporting to the president for a number of years. And that's when I did a lot of the grants work and special projects like getting the Toledo project off the ground, uh, uh, writing the grants for them to get the money from the state to develop Scott Park. and you know, I, I designed a lot of the floor plans and the equipment specking and things like that. So, so I've been doing special projects for the college for about almost 10 years. Uh, and then, uh, then just this last June, I had decided to resign to give my benefits back to the college for others and, and, uh, and just went to a little more, uh, a little more part-time though. I'm not sure I'd call it that. Uh, so, I hope that kind of makes sense, Jim. So yeah, um, for folks who aren't aware of CTS Custom Training Solutions, can you kind of give folks a, an overview of what that is? Yeah, Custom Training Solutions is the is the workforce development division of the college. And initially, when it began, uh, it it started as corporate training and public training, anything non traditional education in the technical field. And it really grew um, to encompass our agencies, which is our, our trade union st uh, students, which is uh, a large part of our business. Um, and it's expanded even more under Jim Dravis's leadership, uh, you know, uh, to cover a lot of the um, uh, different agencies throughout uh, Northwest Ohio. So it's anything non-traditional education is is typically what falls under custom training solutions. And how amazing is that that a small school in rural Northwest Ohio is able to have its finger on the pulse of industry and be able to be so proactive and go out and provide this training and education to people who need it? It's pretty unique for a college our size. Uh, the The big advantage that we had, we had a lot of talent at the college, and and I I could see that and help tried to bring that together. But one of our biggest advantages was that we were nimble, and some of the bigger colleges could not flex, you know, be flexible like we could. And um, I would, you know, we we would find an opportunity and bring it back to the. Uh, the president and and the the cabinet and say hey this is a great way for us to grow the college and and they were always open to some of these crazy ideas that really helped us grow but our nimbleness and innovation was the key I always told people around the state and around the country they'd ask how do you guys do this and I said we have a circle of innovators and it's people that come up with these ideas and it's almost like a war room concept that we come up with these ideas that we eventually turn into an action plan that would create growth at the college, you know, and, and they're, and they come in and out and, and it, it's, it's interesting windows of opportunity will open and they close quickly and the smart ones find a way to get through those windows and, and uh, make growth for the college, either financially enrollment or whatever it is. 
you know, expanding beyond that, some of the really neat things that I had the opportunity to do, one of the biggest and best stories that most people uh, wouldn't know about was the General Mills story. Uh, I had started doing training for the Toledo General Mills plant and their training manager had said, hey, Tom, our Lodi, California plant would like to have you also train them. Instead of going there, we have these picture tell video units. Would you want to try it? Well, I had written all the training manuals and curriculum for General Mills over the years prior to coming to the college, uh, corporate wide, uh, plus the Worldwide Serial Partners, which is around the world. I'd written all their training material. And so um, I, I started that and it exploded into one of our major growth areas at the college, which started around 2003 and went through about 2012. And we still had trickling effects of it later on, but we were training in 25 states in the US, 20, uh, a lot of training in Canada and Mexico and 20 countries off the North American continent. We trained in four languages and, and we use college personnel to do all of this. And so uh, we were a huge, this, this really accelerated us as sort of experts in the e-learning field around the state and around the country. So that's, that kind of catapulted us into a lot of uh, things that we didn't expect, but uh, it, it was really a, a neat era. Um, and so, uh, so that was a really big accomplishment for me, but um, I, I really also was part of a neat movement at the college um, in developing our grants initiatives. Uh, I had pushed hard as a vice president to get a grant writer and we hired Melissa Roop probably back in around uh, uh, 2010, maybe 2011. And uh, we actually went aggressively after the grants uh, across, uh, you know, through the federal agencies and the state agencies and were very successful, as you well know. Um, and later on, we hired Ashley and she has, has really done great things for the college as well. But I was I felt really good at being part of that movement and coming up with some of the crazy ideas that we had for the grants and, and sort of on the twilight of my career, um, I've I've been able to, you know, develop what I would call a competency based hybrid model for our industrial tech courses, which is being implemented in multiple states around the country today. And I've had the opportunity with the current NSF grant that I run that I train colleges all around the country. I train their faculty, I train their deans, uh, instructional designers. And so um, like next week, I have a, a course with uh, a college that uh, trains the Tesla battery plant. So I'm, I'm online with Tesla battery plant engineers as well as Panasonic. Uh, I'm training a faculty in Michigan next week, faculty in North Carolina, faculty in Arkansas. And what's really funny is years ago, we, we spent about $250,000 for a video bridge to do this, which today I do it with a $15 a month Zoom account. I do the same type of things. So it's been really, really a neat way to sort of uh, on the tail end of my career, which has been a stellar career uh, across two colleges uh, with mainly Northwest State. But I, I've been able to... Uh, you know, work with other faculty, like I said, around the country at two and four year colleges, both I work with a lot of university faculty on teaching them how to move online and how to do interactive simulations and things like that. But it's been kind of fun of, of the culmination of what I learned over my career, a lot of it at Northwest State that I can share it with others around the country. So I don't know if that encompasses what you were after, but it's it's been a really good run for me at, at Northwest State. And, and like I say, it was really an honor to get the Emeritus Award. Uh, but uh, but like I said, it, it's it's been a lot of fun. Worked with a lot of great people at Northwest State. Just uh, I always say Northwest State was the crown jewel of colleges of all of Northwest Ohio. Uh, and, and we really are uh, compared to the others, so.